In today's session, we will cover the variety of resources available to you in Axis Physiotherapy and the F.A. Davis Physical Therapy and Athletic Training Collections, including texts, clinical reference items, multimedia, drug monographs, cases, and study tools for exam prep, including NPTE prep-specific content. Before we do so, we will also start out with an overview of what the site is and take a quick look at the My Access profile sign-in, which is necessary for utilizing the full functionality of our sites and for unlocking all of the features and content. And at the end of this session, we will take a look at the Access User Center, accessible under the Support drop-down tab here in the top black ribbon. This site holds all of our user helps, guides, tutorials, content maps, and more to help you effectively and meaningfully use and integrate the content in our collections. Access Physiotherapy, as well as F.A. Davis PT and AT collections, linked here in the middle right of the page, are comprehensive online resources with some of the leading physiotherapy texts, as well as procedural and exercise videos, image galleries, self-assessment and quizzing, cadaver dissection, preparation for the NPTE, and much more. Axis Physiotherapy is devoted exclusively to the study, instruction, and practice of physical therapy with some groundbreaking content for today's PT professionals. Among other great texts, Axis Physiotherapy includes Dutton's Orthopedic Examination, Evaluation, and Intervention, as well as therapeutic modalities in rehabilitation. The content is optimized for viewing on any mobile device, so you can access this site from your phone or tablet and it will look just as good as when you access it from your laptop or desktop computer. That is, it's not going to smash up or only show you some of the content. As we scroll toward the bottom, I do want to point out our advisory board page. Access Physiotherapy is guided by a preeminent advisory board that includes Annie Burke Doe and Eric Seamus. Before we begin looking around at the site, we must first discuss the My Access profile seen in the upper right sign-in feature. Having a My Access profile is essential to enabling your full access to all of the great resources and functionalities available in this site. A My Access profile is a free sign-up and if you don't have a profile, simply select Create Your Free Profile, and if you already have one, go ahead and sign in when you use the site. We encourage users to log in at least once every 90 days to keep their My Access profiles active and affiliated with your institution, which once logged in, you can see beside your name, your institutional affiliation. If you ever become inadvertently affiliated with another institution, for example, if you're on rotations, simply navigate to Access Physiotherapy through your institution subscription, for example, the library page or other portal, and sign back into your My Access profile, which should re-authenticate you with your institution subscription. From the drop-down menu, if we select our dashboard, we can see all the features available for using the site, including our favorites, our favorites in the My Access profile is any content that we have selected throughout Access Physiotherapy or the other sites. And shortly, I will show you how to star and select content throughout the site that you can add to your favorites here in your My Access profile. As we scroll, we can see all of the content that we have favorited and added here. And this content can be organized into folders. These folders can be organized, for example, by research topics, also classes or even lecture topics for any instructors. And the items in these folders and the entire folder itself can be exported as an IMS CC file, which works with most learning management systems. By exporting an IMS CC file, instructors can ensure their students will have access to any content that the instructor has saved and would like the students to access in the site. It will generate links which can be embedded in a learning management system to take students directly to the content here in Access Physiotherapy. So by organizing favorites into folders and exporting those as IMSCC files to a learning management system is a really great way for instructors to batch export content from the site 
to an LMS so that students can then use the link directly from their LMS and go to the content here in Access Physiotherapy. Also, with a My Access profile, users have the option to look at their recently viewed content. This is their history. It is organized out to the right by most recent date. Also, users can access their review questions. This is all of the quiz content they are working on in the site, and that can include quizzes from the case series or also any of our study review and uh, examination prep content. With this renaming tool, users can also rename their quizzes, for example, adding their name or an assignment title. And all quiz results can be emailed as from a student to an instructor. So this is a great way to personalize the title of your quiz or to help an instructor to better identify. Also, users can access their case content and resume work on any cases. Again, these are also organized by date out to the right by most recent. And with the settings feature, you can also view your profile information, including editing your profile, name, email address, password. But out to the left, you'll notice this My Alerts feature. And this will allow users to set up email notification alerts, either daily, weekly, or monthly. And those will generate just depending on how often content is added or updated to the site. So that's a great way to keep tabs on anything new or uh, any updates in the Access Physiotherapy or any of our other sites listed here. By using this McGraw-Hill Medical dropdown in the upper left, I can navigate to the other sites, including Access Physiotherapy. The homepage of Access Physiotherapy includes a number of features to point out, including this carousel that allows you to flip through the different texts that are available, and we will take a look at all of the texts under the Books tab shortly. Uh, as we scroll, we also can view any of the new content that is added to the site, which is seen here in the middle pane, as well as some of the videos that we are highlighting from our site. And then we also see a question of the week. This will link out to some supplemental content available on the Access User Center. Also, as we keep scrolling, we'll see a snapshot of our My Access profile, as well as some other new content that has uh, been added to the site. Here we see this new text resource. And then also current popular chapters throughout the site. That's among all users of Access Physiotherapy. Along the top, you will also notice our search feature here in the middle of the page. And when searching, you'll notice our auto-suggest that appears. This can be disabled. When you search a topic, the default is to pull results only from Access Physiotherapy. Using this drop-down to the left of the search layer, however, you can't switch to run your search across all McGraw-Hill Medical sites, which is a way of expanding your search to pull in more results from the other sites that we have available, such as Access Medicine or Access Neurology. In the results, the number of results appears across the top. So here we have 337 results for gait biomechanics. And we also include a blue hyperlink out to the list of those federated search results. So a couple of different ways to get to the federated search results. We have integrated our advanced searching capabilities here to the left in our search builder. So here you can add in additional keywords, also terms by title, author, or ISBN. We can also filter our results by format type, such as book chapter or cases or images. We can also select certain textbooks to filter our results. So if we wanted to pull results from only specific texts, we could do that. And we can also limit by particular topics. So this is another way to further narrow our search results. For instance, gait biomechanics as it relates to the knee joint or the hip region. Out to the right of each item in our set of results, you'll notice this star icon. By selecting the star, we can then add that item to our favorites in our My Access profile, including adding it to any specific folders that we already have, or we can also create a new folder to add the content to for organization. And to remove it, we simply can unselect the star or remove it by selecting our favorites in our My Access profile. Under the Books tab in the site, you can view the complete library of texts. These are organized on the left-hand side 
by these different filters, which you can select to see the text in these different areas, such as our text on biomechanics and kinesiology, ethics in physical therapy, exercise physiology, and more. Each of the texts in our sites comes with its own unique durable URL, which can be copied out of the browser. Or you also can select this tool's drop-down menu to view an exportable list of resources. This list will export to Excel. And out to the right of each of our text items, you will see the unique durable URL for that item that is listed. And again, either from this list or from the browser, you can embed those unique durable URLs into a learning management system, which would take students directly from the LMS to the content here in Access Physiotherapy. And that includes textbooks, chapters, sections of chapters, our multimedia, as well as our cases, all come with durable URLs. We can view our library here in this default grid view, which allows us to see the interface, including the title covers. However, we can also switch using this feature in the upper right to view just a simple listing of these titles. Here in Access Physiotherapy, the library is comprised of more than 50 core titles, including Dutton's Orthopedic, but also Essentials of Athletic Injury Management, Kinesiology, the Scientific Basis of Human Motion, and other core titles. We'll take a look first at Dutton's Orthopedic Examination, Evaluation, and Intervention, now in its fifth edition. In our text resources, you'll see a search layer that once again will allow us to search our topic. We can also star and favorite this item to add to our favorites in our My Access profile. We also will see any related multimedia featured out to the right. We can also use the show hide chapter icons to expand all chapters, or we can use the plus minus signs to show and expand them individually. The breadcrumbs along the top will help the user to track his or her place in the site, as well as to use these previous and next chapter jumps. Each chapter in our text resources includes this chapter taskbar seen under the chapter title, which allows the user to jump to specific sections of the chapter. Those are hyperlinked, as well as to use the print feature here on screen. This particular print feature will allow you to save the chapter as a PDF to print that. Also, the chapter can be shared through email or social media as well as to generate a citation in AMA or MLA citation styles, or to use one of these citation management tools to generate a citation in another style of choosing, such as APA. The chapter is organized into different tabs seen across the top here, including the full chapter, which includes any relevant figures or tables. However, for your convenience, we've also broken out all of our figures and tables seen in these separate tabs. The figures and tables in the chapters can be downloaded. All our figures download as PowerPoint slides, which include the full citation information. And our tables will download as PDFs. They also, tables and figures, can be favorited and added to our My Access profile. And they also can be viewed enlarged. So here we see the full size of the image. And again, we can also download or print this image seen in the lower right and the link along the top is a hyperlink which will take the user to that image within context in the text itself. If we look back now at our full chapter tab, across the top of each section in our ch uh, full chapter the user will notice this read speaker icon. This is our text-to-speech tool we have embedded in all of our text for greater accessibility for more users. Connective tissue. CT proper has a loose, flexible matrix called ground substance. And you will notice that as ReadSpeaker was reading to us, it was also highlighting the level. So here we see the uh, sentence phrase and the word that is being highlighted. Using the settings, this gear icon, we can adjust our read speaker settings, including text highlighting options, including by, by which level we wish to have the highlighting, as well as word, sentence, and text coloring. And if we aren't sure what something like enhanced text visibility is, we can select our radio button icon, 
which will give us a short description explaining what that item will do for us. And of course, we also see reading speed and automatic scrolling, which can be turned on or off. Throughout the site, you may also notice blue hyperlinks embedded. These will also be found in our case files and other parts of our text resources. And these will take you out to our drug monographs, which we will take a look at shortly. Another tool that we have embedded in all of our text resources includes Hypothesis, which is a platform agnostic and free annotation tool seen in the upper right here in the sidebar. This is a free but also separate login for the user. And as we highlight any portion of the text that we wish to annotate, we can select the quotation marks here for annotate, which prompts the Hypothesis sidebar showing us which part of the text we are annotating, and then allowing us to enter our annotation here in the text pane. We have different text options, including inserting a link. For example, if we wanted to insert a video from our multimedia tab or from other resources in Access Physiotherapy, Access Medicine, or from the internet in general. We also can add tags to make our posting more searchable. And our posts also can be set to public, so other users of Hypothesis will see our notes, or we can set them to private. Hypothesis is really a great tool for group work. You can create private groups among users, so it's really great. For instance, if you had a study group on infections, it's really great for study groups. In addition, uh, Hypothesis is also a great tool for a flipped classroom approach or for assigning this text as reading for students who then can comment on and share each other's notes and annotations. So a really great way to facilitate online class discussion for the class readings. Back at the top of Access Physiotherapy, a few other text resources I want to point out to you in our library include one of our text resources in the Ethics in Physical Therapy, and that includes this Ethics in Physical Therapy case-based approach text from Nancy Kirch. This was recently added to the platform. There are two parts to this book. Part one provides more didactic foundational material, while part two strives to apply ethical decision-making tools to relevant cases in physical therapy practice. The two parts are meant to be used together, but they also can stand alone providing some of the basic conceptual material about ethics and ethical decision-making in physical therapy practice, with this second section focusing on case analysis. Another text resource that I would like to point out to you in the library includes this resource on effective documentation. This text is the Effective Documentation for Physical Therapy Professionals in its second edition. And this text covers some of the legal issues in the medical record, and it also includes specifics such as home health, pediatric documentation, and also includes writing exercises for the user. And finally, in the books library, I want to point out our archived resources, which can be found at the bottom of this left filter. This page includes all of those texts which were replaced by a newer edition in the library. So if a newer edition is released, the previous edition will be placed here for a period of time in case anyone wishes to refer to it. The next tab that we'll take a look at in Access Physiotherapy is the Quick References tab. This section of the site provides clinical information to facilitate an accurate and quick diagnosis, as well as to provide authoritative treatment answers. Here we have our Quick Answers text for physiotherapy from Eric Seamus. Once again, this text can be searched, and it is organized alphabetically across the top. This text offers concise outlines of some of the common conditions and disorders right at your fingertips. So whether it is used as a high-yield review for studying or for quick reference in the clinical setting, you'll find it to be a very useful clinical reference resource. It is a point-of-care tool that provides bulleted information about a variety of conditions, including diagnosis and treatment, clinical findings, and this information in this text will assist the reader in understanding various diagnoses and also provide guidance in the issues associated with them. Here we see information for a differential diagnosis, 
Each diagnosis follows a similar format for ease of use. Functional goals and impairments are also identified to help strengthen documentation and communication with other healthcare professionals. And throughout, you will find links to additional resources such as our drug monographs and also references to reinforce and support further learning. And here you'll also see additional resources. Also under the Quick Reference tab, we include this Outcome Measures toolbox, and this will help the user to gain access to vital tables and figures by these different topic areas listed to the left. And for each of these resources, you will see the tables that are linked to the, to the right-hand side. This resource compiles all measures, so tools, scales, and tests that are used in patient interactions from across the Access Physiotherapy site. So it really allows clinicians to access all of this content in one place rather than scouring through multiple textbooks to locate the exact resource that is needed. The next tab I would like to show you is the Drug Monographs tab. Our integrated drug database here in the site is really an authoritative database of thousands of drugs that are organized, as you can see on the left, by generics, trade names, and drug classes. You can access detailed monograph data, as well as any special notices, FDA warnings, and more. It is searchable as well as organized alphabetically across the top. And you'll notice that as we search, auto-suggest does appear. And by selecting a specific drug monograph, all of the standard data for that item will appear, including the basics such as our images and description, other names, brand names. So here we see Jantavin and Cubidin for warfarin. We see the pharmacologic category, medication safety issues, and also international brand names for the item. We also see some clinical pharmacology data, information such as warnings and precautions, indications and usage, contraindications, We see dosing information. This is broken out by different population types, including geriatric, pediatric, and adult. We see interactions with other drugs. And also available includes US pricing information, as well as some general patient education considerations. The drug monographs here in Access Physiotherapy are updated every two weeks and do include patient handouts. These are available in English and in Spanish. You can search specific handouts and you'll also see that they are organized alphabetically across the top. And these handouts are written at a pretty clear level so that the patient is ensured to understand the information related to the drug they are taking and it does address some of the common questions that a patient may ask of his or her physician, such as side effects. Next, we have the Multimedia tab in Access Physiotherapy, and the Multimedia collection in the site offers users a variety of dynamic content, including videos, lectures, learning modules, anatomy tools, and more. And you'll see here the different options that are available to us. We can start out with Bruckner and Kahn's clinical sports medicine audio discussion. I do want to point out quickly that all of the multimedia here in Access Physiotherapy is durable URL enabled. So any of these resources that we see here that we can select, uh, we can also copy the URL out of the browser and uh, embed that into a learning management system and that would take students directly from their LMS to, to the content here in Access Physiotherapy. So it's really a great way for instructors to embed multimedia content to supplement any kind of traditional learning models as well. And I do want to point out that these Bruckner and Kahn's clinical sports medicine discussions can be listened to on the go. Remember that Access Physiotherapy is a mobile optimized site, so it's a really great way to learn on the go. Uh, you'll also see here our gross anatomy lectures in Axis Physiotherapy. 
and these two are student-friendly 10 to 15 minute lectures on different aspects and features of the human anatomy. Also under multimedia, we include this resource called the Anatomy and Physiology Revealed. This is an interactive cadaver dissection experience. It is designed to help users explore human anatomy using cadaver specimens and also to master some of the physiology concepts through animation with detailed information and audio pronunciations that help to build anatomical knowledge. And it also includes a comprehensive quiz to help reinforce learning. This interactive cadaver dissection tool uses cadaver photos combined with layering techniques that allow users to peel away layer by layer to reveal structures that are beneath the surface. Each section here features animation, dissection, histology, and imaging slides and interactive self-testing. It is a great way for students to learn and practice their anatomical knowledge through detailed imaging slides and animations. This anatomy and physiology reveal tool also is keyboard navigable. It offers some descriptive text functionality and is available for mobile delivery. It has options for students with low vision, such as choice of highlighting colors and arrows within images, and efforts are ongoing to increase the accessibility of this technology. Along the top of the tool, we can select a module, such as body orientation, and then we can also select a particular topic, such as organ systems, and then we can select these different layers seen along the bottom in the lower left, and we'll notice the module to the right changes as we select the different layers. Also along the top, you'll see our animation tool. This includes a video, for instance, on homeostasis. And then we also include our quiz option here in the site. And once again, we can select our region, such as organ systems and the quiz type, as well as the number of questions and begin working through our quiz. I'm gonna navigate back to Access Physiotherapy. Also under multimedia, we include our series of videos these videos are organized over to the left. So we see our videos for the clinical presentation of disease and our neurological disorders videos, but also videos for diagnosis, examination, evaluation, interventions, and more, including physiologic areas. Also under multimedia, we have our interactive modules. These modules also are derived from Bruckner and Kahn's Clinical Sports Medicine, fourth edition. And through videos, quizzes, images, and these interactive elements, users will learn some of the clinical approaches to assessment and techniques for managing common injuries and pain. In addition, in multimedia, the site also provides these therapeutic modalities presentations. And these are all uh, downloadable PowerPoint presentations. Under the Cases tab in the site, we provide materials for short, targeted case-based learning that requires students to think critically about the content. And you can see our cases broken out into these various categories, uh, normally offered by different texts. So we have cases based on clinical neuroanatomy, cases in ethics, uh, and also these cases based off of the case files text series in physical therapy. And for each, they vary slightly depending on the text resource. But in general, you will receive a patient history and systems review, some short answer questions, clinical pearls, and references. In our case file series, as an example, users can view the content by case topic, which is the default view, as seen here, liver transplant or left ventricular assistive device being the topic of those cases. We can also switch to view them by case number here in the upper right above the cases, and this is a great way to challenge yourself as a user so that you don't know the topic of the case beforehand. Also, the key out to the right will indicate any cases that have been completed, viewed, or that are unopened. And as we select and open a case, you'll notice once again uh, some familiar tools available to you, including this star icon to add the case to your favorites in your My Access profile. And again, I do want to point out that the cases here throughout the site are durable URL enabled. So as an instructor, if you wanted to copy the browser URL and embed this particular case or any of the cases into a learning management system, you could do so and assign the case for a grade. And all comprehension questions and quizzes that are completed on these cases 
can be emailed, the results can be emailed to an instructor user, for example. And here in the case file series, in the first tab, we have our case presentation. So this is where we are introduced to the case. Please notice once again our hyperlinks out to our drug monographs. We also have a series of questions that are generally open-ended. These are text-based answers. And as you type in a response, if we scroll down, we have the option here to save our answers, which will allow us to resume work on this case later if we wanted to resume it from the My Cases tab in our My Access profile. We also will see a key definitions tab. This generally provides some clinical information as well as objectives. You'll also see physical therapy considerations. So again, some measure of treatment and intervention, understanding the underlying health conditions here for this particular case. So we see more about cirrhosis, for instance. We see physical therapy patient and client management, examination, evaluation, and diagnosis information, plan of care and interventions, also evidence-based clinical recommendations, references, this is a great way to reinforce and support additional learning. And again, our cases are peer reviewed. And then also our comprehension questions. This is the quiz that again, these results can be emailed to an instructor user, for instance, from a student, if this case were assigned for completion in a class. And as we complete the quiz, you'll also see uh, a full short answer explanation And toward the bottom, you'll see your option to email the results. Also, under the Cases tab, we do have these Therapeutic Modalities cases based off of this text from William Prentiss. And these cases, you'll see, are organized just a little differently from what we saw in the Case Files series, but we are presented with this case overview and also our series of questions. Also, under the Cases tab, You'll see other cases based off of these different texts, including clinical neuroanatomy and ethics and physical therapy cases. You'll also see these cases in orthopedic case studies as well, and also prosthetics and orthotics cases. So some really great content here, uh, very dynamic and a variety of real life patient scenarios to apply some of the concepts learned in physical therapy. The Study Tools tab in Access Physiotherapy offers users some great review text with thousands of question and answer options to help you prepare for boards and exams. And to access most of the content here under the Study Tools tab, you will need to be signed into your My Access profile. Users can generate review questions from these available texts. For instance, we see this text on basic biomechanics. And with each of these texts, generally, a user is able to generate a random quiz or also a custom quiz where you can see the different uh, number of questions that are available in each of these categories based off of the text. So for instance, we see 42 questions available on the first chapter of what is biomechanics. Also under study tools, this simulated NPTE exam is broken into these different sections seen here, each with a quiz in these different areas, and these are meant to simulate the real NPTE experience. And we also have the NPTE Review Prep tab in the site. This tab provides users with all of the content from throughout the Access Physiotherapy site that is most relevant for study and review for preparation for the NPTE, and it is all brought into this one page in the site so users don't have to scour and collect content from across the site. It's all brought into one spot. It also includes this NPTE examination and board review text from McGraw-Hill, as well as the online simulated NPTE exam, which we just saw a moment ago, and also this uh, these suggestions for further reading. And that will conclude our look at Access Physiotherapy specifically. I want to navigate now to F.A. Davis PT Collection. F.A. Davis PT Collection 
is a comprehensive online physical therapy resource similar to Access Physiotherapy in that it covers the entire spectrum of physical therapy. It really gives educators the tools needed to train the next generation of physical therapists, and it also enables PT students to confidently prepare for the PT profession. And just like with Access Physiotherapy, the content on this site is mobile optimized for viewing on any device. And you'll also notice that the layout here is similar to what we saw in Access Physiotherapy. You'll notice our search bar along the top, as well as our different tabs to our books library, quick reference items, our drug monographs, multimedia, and cases. We also have here the carousel to flip through some of the different text resources available in the site and a link back out to access physiotherapy. And as you scroll down the page, you'll also notice any of the content that we are highlighting here in the site, some supplemental content, uh, cases, um, also Davis notes, we'll look at those shortly. You can also see, again, a snapshot of your MyAccess profile, some new content that has been added to the site. Here we see this new resource on joint structure and function, uh, and also popular chapters here in the F.A. Davis PT collection. The Books tab in the collection features some top-selling F.A. Davis physical therapy references. These are organized over on the left, similar to Access Physiotherapy. And you'll notice some similar tools, such as the exportable list. Uh, also, all of the texts here are durable URL enabled for you to embed into a learning management system. And these texts also feature very similar functions, including being able to star and save the content to your My Access profile, being able to search a topic within a particular text. And you'll also notice that each of the chapters is organized in the same way as they were in Access Physiotherapy with our breadcrumbs along the top. And again, the chapter taskbar that allows you to jump to particular sections, to print PDF, to share through email or social media, to open up and favorite or download any figures or tables or view them enlarged in context here in the text. You'll also see the read speaker icon that is available at the top of each section for accessibility for more users, as well as the option to use the hypothesis annotation tool to make any kind of notes. The quick references tab here in F.A. Davis comprises these Davis notes. And again, the quick references tab here is really designed for point of care, quick lookup information in the clinical setting, and these Davis notes are really uh, easy to access clinical pocket guides in a few of these different areas. So we see neurology, pediatrics, and the content in these guides is broken out in a very easily digestible way. So you'll notice that uh, the way they are organized is pretty clear and succinct, allowing for quick access to the information, including any relevant tables that can be downloaded and saved. and this is meant to facilitate a clinical answer. Also under the quick reference tab, you'll see Tabor's Medical Dictionary and Tabor's Cyclopedic Medical Dictionary, now in its 23rd edition here in F.A. Davis PT collection, is searchable across the top as well as alphabetical. We can see here some of the content that is broken out. And also under quick reference, we provide this Rehabilitation Specialist's Handbook. This is a collection of some of the frequently used information organized for easy reference, covering a breadth of topics from the full range of basic scientific information, including neuroanatomy, clinical orthopedics, and general anatomy, to some of the treatments and methods that are used in modern rehabilitation practice. Also in the F.A. Davis PT collection, we have this drug tab as well, a little different from the drug monographs that we saw in Access Physiotherapy. The drug monographs here are based off of Davis's Drug Guide for Rehabilitation Professionals, and this guide is also searchable and organized alphabetically across the top and here on each page. This guide is intended to provide rehabilitation specialists with an up-to-date and easy-to-use resource about specific medications. 
The guide consists of this alphabetical listing of more than 850 drug monographs that contain pertinent information about each of these drugs, including these physical therapy implications, where there's interventions, pharmacokinetics, and other information provided. The multimedia collection in F.A. Davis really features an extensive video library of videos from leaders in the physical therapy field. These videos are designed to teach some of the exercise and rehabilitation techniques, as well as kinetics and physical therapy interventions. Again, this content here in the multimedia tab includes all the resources that come with durable URLs, so you can copy and paste in these durable URLs into a learning management system to supplement any kind of traditional learning models. These videos are organized out to the left. And also the cases tab here in F.A. Davis PT collection is really also quite a robust library of some case-based learning activities here in the site organized out in these different areas as well. So modalities cases, neurological rehabilitation cases, wound healing, and as with Access Physiotherapy, these cases also are durable URL enabled. Each case can be uh, added to your favorites in your My Access profile. And each case does come with some different content, different features. Here we can look at our prosthetics and orthotics cases. You'll notice Read Speaker also has been enabled in our case activities. And that's a look at the F.A. Davis PT collection. I would like to now switch to look at the F.A. Davis athletic training collection. And you'll notice, again, very similar layout and functionality all throughout the site, including durable URLs, um, as well as the search layer, the tab organization across the top. Here we have our carousel where you can flip through the different text resources in the site and also a link out to access physiotherapy. You'll also see any of our dynamic tiles here that show some supplemental content as well as highlighting any content from the site. We also see new content that has been added to the site, including this uh, certification examination text for athletic trainers. The books tab will of course show our full text library. These uh, resources are organized on the left in these different categories including this text, uh, Orthopedic and Athletic Examination Handbook, now in its third edition, as well as Brunstrom's Clinical Kinesiology, now in its sixth edition. Again, these texts are durable URL enabled. We can star and add it to our favorites in our My Access profile, as well as search within the text. And we'll notice that each chapter does come included with the same features as before with our other sites, including the breadcrumbs across the top, the chapter taskbar, as well as the full text chapter, any relevant figures and tables, read speaker, and hypothesis. The multimedia tab is really a great library of a lot of different videos seen in these different categories. Here we have multiple procedural and conceptual videos that are all student friendly in their timing, such as these on taping, wrapping, and bracing. We have medical terminology, multimedia, exercises such as therapeutic exercises as well. So here we can see some of those procedural videos. Anterior intertarsal glide. With the patient prone on the treatment table and the knee flexed, grasp the midfoot and place your thumbs over the tarsal bone to be mobilized. Stabilize the forefoot while the tarsal bones are mobilized with a posterior anterior movement. This technique is used to increase midfoot plantar flexion and can be performed at all intertarsal joints. Okay, that's a look at an example uh, video that we have in the site. Also, AT Collection includes uh, these cases, including these modalities cases and pharmacology cases. These modalities cases in therapeutics and other modalities types include some clinical applications with these modalities cases. So here we see the general overview of the case, as well as some clinical decision-making information and tools. Our pharmacology cases also are laid out similarly based on this uh, pharmacology and rehabilitation text. So here we see our overview, as well as our series of questions and the answers. 
full answer explanations to reinforce learning. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the session today, I would like for us to end by looking at the Access User Center seen in this support drop down menu at the top. And you can use the uh, contact us tool here to reach out to us at user services with any questions that you have. And this user resources tab will take you to the Access User Center, which is a separate website. It is navigable on the left in this menu. And we have broken out all of our resources into our various medical products. So here you will, for instance, see all of the Access Physiotherapy specific resources. And we do include this tutorial on how to build a lecture using uh, the resources here in Physiotherapy and F.A. Davis. So it'll show you how to link to content, how to create folders and organize and batch export uh, multiple content items into a learning management system. We also provide a more detailed guide on using the anatomy and physiology reveal tool. We have specific brochures and promos for different audiences. You'll see our different tutorials. So how to use the search feature, hypothesis, how to download images using the multimedia. So a lot of really great resources here. Uh, and you'll also see uh, our list of training webinars and those that you can register for, including an archive list where you can register and view our past webinars that you might be interested in. We do also provide information for pulling usage statistics. So for any uh, account admins that are in the audience today, uh, this is all our full detailed descriptions of how you can pull your usage statistics. And I do want to mention that we are Counter 5 compliant. Uh, but also I want to point out this uh, resource, our new content maps resource. And we do include some physiotherapy specific content maps. So here, for instance, we have our physical therapy assistant education program content maps. We also have our Doctor of Physical Therapy content map. And this is where we have matched all of the digital medical resources with uh, any academic curriculum or specialty specific needs for our audiences. Uh, we've highlighted our resources here in these content maps. So we've linked entire books, book chapters, uh, and other content, clinical reference content throughout the sites. We have linked it to uh, these different resources that we have in the site to all of these uh, specific accreditation and programmatic standards. So you can see which specific resource uh, matches the accreditation and, uh, and programmatic standard and in which site you can pull those resources. And uh, again, just in ending, I would like to show you another way to contact us that's here on the Access User Center. And that is with the user services email address that I'm highlighting on screen. That is user services at mheducation.com. And I would like to thank you for joining this webinar today. We would love to gain your feedback on today's session. So if you could please take a moment to fill out the brief survey that will appear after we disconnect. And if there are any remaining questions uh, in the chat feature, we will work to get to those before we become disconnected. I'd like to thank you again for joining this session on Axis Physiotherapy and the F.A. Davis Collections. Thank you and have a great day.